Looks like he's getting ready to bolt out of there again. Yep, there he goes. Dang, he's going to keep doing that. Hopefully he'll come back. And he got a nice set of horns on him. Viewer discretion is advised. What's going on, everybody? Fujimo here, back on another episode of The Hunter of Call of the Wild. Hey, today we're over in Hirschfeld, and I thought maybe I might need to see if I can try to at least find a level 5 reindeer to stick in the lodge before they do the true wreck update on it. I don't know when they're going to do it. I hadn't heard, but I was trying to get them all in there, you know, before they switched them all over. And I don't know that they're going to switch them over, but I'm just, you know, need to, need to get a diamond in there anyway, or at least a level 5 horn anyway. So, uh, anyway, I've been doing a little bit of scouting here. I've been on, uh, I've been way over here. There's loads of red deer right in this area right here, but no level 9. So, uh, I remember seeing some back here a long time ago when I was doing some missions right up this river right here. I just thought I'd run up this river right here and just see if we could find anything at all there. So uh, we'll uh, get on up through here, see what we can get into here. All right, so I come up to the Peter Shane hiking village here, and there's a good many fallow deer right here. Got one right here. It's a three very easy. But there's a lot of tracks right in here, so I hadn't seen any red deer. I think the uh, I'm pretty sure the last time I saw that group of red deer, they were straight on up this river here. There's a it's kind of like a little field or a little meadow up here in between some trees. I saw them in there. We'll go up here and see if we can see them up in that area there. So could go ahead and drop this one right here for a sick, I reckon. Let's just try that right quick and see where we're at. Been playing on some multiplayer maps, so I'm not real sure where I might be at on that. So we'll check that out. Hopefully he goes down pretty quickly. Tried to get a heart shot on him there, but didn't do it. But he's going down. Dropped right there. We'll up and check him out right quick. Just to make sure we're good on consec here. Got a good hit on him right there for sure. He didn't go that far. God darn, it's raining to beat the band out here. Good Lord. I wish you'd simmer down a little bit there because it is way too loud. I'm telling you, man. Can't hear nothing out here. But let's check him out here. Let's see if we can get us a good consec on this fallow deer. And we are 100% good to go. Let's get on up through here. See if we can find us a level 9 legendary red deer here. All right, we got him picked up there. I'm going to kind of squat down here because these, I'm pretty sure this is the field that I saw them in. Going to ease around the corner here and see if they're still there anyway. So we'll do a little spotting here. See if we can see anything at all. Looks like, it, looks like it's flat out empty there. I'm going to tell you. That's, whoa, what was that? What the crap is that? A freaking moose? What is that? That's a dang, is that a? Good lord, that's a fallow deer. That's a big boy. That has got to be a level five. In behind that tree there, and I can't spot him. Dad, come. There it is right there. Oh, level five, boys. Level five. There he is. 194 out. All right, so we're going from a red deer to a fallow deer. Max level. Hopefully it'll be a diamond. Not going. Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Way my looks running here lately. Did get that uh, level 5 diamond a uh, little bit ago there on uh, Medved a couple of hunts ago. But, uh, dang, I can't believe this is, man, this happened in a hurry. Never seen a level 5 fallow for sure. Man, he got a big set of antlers. But, hey, we'll go ahead and take him. That'll be another one off the list before they do the true wreck. So, uh, I'm going to creep down right here and see if we can get up here a little closer to him. See if we can get a shot at him. All right, he just alerted on me like a big dummy. He is 90 yards out. Let me go ahead and get the rifle up just in case he turns broadside here. We'll see if we can take a crack at him right here. Man, he has a nice one. Look at the dang horns on that son of a gun. All right, baby, give me a good shot here. Just need a good broadsider right here. Come on. Stop right there. Nope. Almost pulled it, boys. I'd have messed up if I would have. See if he'll give me another good shot here. He might, he might settle down. He did. All right, let's see if we can, uh, come on, really creep up through here, see if I can get a little bit closer to him. Hmm, and he just bounded off there. Good Lord, I know, I think the wind's messing me up here. Let me put some dang sin on. I thought I had some on, but I wasn't sure. I hope he's going to come back. I think he will, but we'll find out here shortly. We're going to kind of just hang right here and see what happens here. All right, here he comes back. He's coming back through the trees here now. Let's get ready in case he makes the turn. I'm assuming he's probably going to start drinking again, and he did. He's probably going to hang right there. Let's check his attention level. He's nervous. So, uh, I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to rattle. Wait a minute. He's alerted. He's alerted. That dang wind's messing me up big time, boy. I need to get a dang 
Good broadside shot here if I can. Come on, baby. Just turn just a little bit. Looks like he's getting ready to bolt out of there again. Yep, there he goes. Dang, he's going to keep doing that. Hopefully he'll come back. Man, he got a nice set of horns on him. I just don't know. I don't know if he's seeing me or what's going on. Let me ease on up here in these bushes here. All right, I've got up on this tree here. I'm pretty much completely concealed. That dang wind is the only problem. Hopefully he'll come back. We'll try to be still here. and Maybe he'll give us another shot. All right, I see him coming through the bushes. There he comes, boys, right there. We have got to try to get this son of a gun turned broadside so we can get a good shot at him. We need a double lung, that's for sure. Just need him to turn there, and he don't want to do it. I think what I'm going to do is hit the antler call, or the rattle, rattler call one time, just to see if I can get him out of that position. He's still nervous. If he just make one turn, we'll be good to go there. Let's get the antler call out right quick and see if we can just make him turn. All right, we got the turn there. Probably should have, probably could have taken it right there if I'd had my rifle up. Wasn't sure he heard me, but <laughs> and he goes back to drinking again. All right, let's see if we can try it one more time here. We'll get the rattler out. All right, let's get the gun out immediately. See if he makes a turn. All right, big boy, give it to me right here now. Let's go. Just don't want to do it. I'm scared to take a heart shot and I'm scared to take a brain shot, but. Uh, I could probably hit it right there for sure if I hit it right there. Just don't want to make, just don't want to do it, man. Need that double lung. He is not going to give it to me. Boy, he's being stubborn. All right, we got a little bit of movement here. Come on, baby, just a little bit more. Come on. Just a little bit more. Getting really close to me. Just a little bit more. Come on. Good Lord, I could probably shoot him right there. Dang, I'm scared to do it. All right, he's on the move again. Let's see what's going to happen here, boys. Just need a slight turn there. Come on, big boy. Just a slight turn. Watch him go back to eating. Dad, coming. Stop right there, big boy. Come on. Stop it right there. Fucker going to run off. Stop, please, stop. <laughs> Don't make a turn. Goodness gracious. He's so close I got the scope zoomed all the way back. I ain't believing that. Just walked right by me now. I can't even see him. To get up here just a little bit. Now he's kind of quartering away from me. He just ain't going to stop, boys. I've let this sun gun go all the way around me. He's down toward the water now. Now he's on this side, I can't tell. He's facing me. All right, right there, boys. Bam, baby! I don't know if he got down on the ground or not. I believe he's down. Good Lord, sucker, like to wore me out for sure. Man, I'm getting a little nervous about him there. <laughs> we good on the consec check there. We got that right back on that little small fellow. So we'll run right here and check him out and see what he scored here. Level five fellow deer. Well, let's check him out. Bam, he was a diamond, 953 just barely, but that's all right, we will take it. He was a nice one, uh, two diamonds in a row now on a level five or a max level animal. Pretty nice, man, pretty nice there. He'll look good in the trophy lodge for sure. Let's go ahead and taxidermize him. He is ready to go, we'll accept him. Bam, baby, let's head to the trophy lodge. All right, welcome back to the Trophy Lodge once again. We're going to put him up here, upstairs on a plaque. We'll cruise right by the last diamond we got there a few days ago. There he is right there. It was a reindeer. Level 5 diamond right there. Got a nice rack on him. We'll stick this old fallow deer in here in this room. On this trophy right here. Trophy rack right here. Let's stick him in there. Fallow deer, diamond 953. Bam, there he is. Man, he got a heck of a rack on him. Look at that. That's the first level five I've seen on a fallow deer for sure. He's a nice one though. I just want to check out the poses right quick, see if they had anything laying down or anything like that. Don't look like it do. All right, I think that one right there is going to do it. That looks pretty good. He's a big boy for sure. Man, 
Got a nice wide rack on him, I'm gonna tell you right now. That's a big one, boy, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> That's it right there, boys. He's a nice one. All right, well, like I said, that escalated pretty quickly on that video. It took a little while to get him there, but uh, I was going after a level 9 red deer and uh, just didn't happen for sure, so he ended up running across that level 5 fallow deer, so, you know, it's a diamond man. We're going to take it either way. It don't matter what it is. So, uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of the Hunter Calls Wild here. I hope y'all enjoyed it. We'll catch y'all on the next hunt.